Only on 11 Alive, we are learning more about a Gwinnett County father who drowned trying to save his young son on Lake Hartwell. The widow of 45 year old Constantine Pascal is now speaking out for the first time. He was the love of my life. He was my soulmate. Pascal is the fourth person to drown in just six days across North Georgia lakes. That includes drownings at Lake Alatoona in Cherokee County, Lake Jimmy Jackson in Troop County, Lake Hartwell in Elbert County, and Lake Russell in Habersham County. As summer officially kicks off, we've reached out to ask if there's been an increase in drownings this year. Georgia DNR says as of now, that's not the case. So far this year, they have responded to 20 drownings. That's down six from this time last year, down nine from 2021. DNR tells 11 Alive the most important thing to remember when you're out on the water is to wear a life jacket that fits well. Pascal's wife says that her husband lost his life trying to save their son whose life jacket had slipped off. Cody Alcorn has the story. This is not how it's supposed to be. Just two months shy of their 11th wedding anniversary. Anna and Constantine Pascal's lives revolved around their sons, Daniel and Emmanuel. The greatest father. On Friday, Constantine took their boys out on Lake Hartwell. Anna stayed behind. The boy's grandma, who's visiting from Romania, was also on the boat. Constantine pulling his son on a tube. At some point, he fell off the tube. His life jacket slipped off. He was trying, he was struggling to survive. And when my husband saw that he was struggling, he jumped in. Daniel said he was holding his hand to his chest, and his mom said he was goggling. Then he went down. Constantine never came back up. A jet skier saw the commotion and scooped his boy out of the water. He did everything for the family, everything. Literally, until his last breath, saving his son's life. He kind of joked around. It's like, I cannot live without you. And here I am. I'm trying to live without him. And it's hard. It's hard without him. <laughs> A widow now trying to navigate as a single parent. The next day, Daniel said, Mommy, Daddy's just in the hospital. We'll find him. And Manuel said, Mommy, we'll meet him in heaven. An unimaginable loss. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Every night, I wake up in the middle of the night. I said, this is a dream. This is a dream. But it's not a dream. It's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> Even with all that she's going through, Anna says she wants to make sure the first responders who recovered her husband's body know how much she and the family appreciate everything they did for her and her kids during the search and recovery.